From the moment that somebody fixes their mom and dad's Wi-Fi and then their mom and dad says, hey, you're a tech genius. You know, it kind of sparks this thought in your mind, like maybe I can actually do this IT thing. Uh, but for many people breaking into IT, it can take like years. Uh, they go through online courses, they go through certifications, they go through job rejections and like these awkward interviews, right? Because you know, we've all been there before. Um, but honestly, I think that it's often harder than it has to be. And this video is going to lay out the fastest ways to break into IT and actually get a job. Plus, I'm going to break down three common mistakes that keeps people stuck in what they call learning mode. So uh, let's go, guys. Let's get into it. All right. So step number one. Uh, you got to learn what actually gets you hired. OK, so here's a truth that nobody actually talks about. You don't need to know everything about computers to land that first IT job. It's not really necessary. Uh, what actually matters is being able to fix common issues and just staying calm under pressure. So let's say you're at an office meeting and the printer goes down. You want to be able to fix that printer and stay calm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, certifications like the CompTIA A plus or the Google IT support. Those are like perfect ideal starting points for a beginner. Um, also, you want to steer clear of those 80 hour master all of IT courses like for now that that's not really necessary. You just need to get what's needed to pass one cert and just focus on the goal, which is just getting paid. You know what I'm saying? And also binge watching 20 hour courses like some people do with Netflix. That doesn't that doesn't really count. Uh, real progress happens when people get their hands dirty. Mistake number one, watching without doing. It's kind of tempting to uh, press press play on a Udemy video and just let it play and just kick back and think, wow, I'm learning so much. Um, but when it comes time to actually troubleshoot a real issue, like maybe fixing a, a router, then things like fall apart. Well, the truth is the only way to learn IT is to actually get your hands dirty and do IT. Uh, that means setting up a virtual machine. You want to install something like Linux. You want to break things and just like learn how to fix them. Um, Google really should just become your best friend, especially when error messages hit. That's like where the growth starts to happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, step number two. You want to build a mini home lab or just like a portfolio, uh, a server rack in the middle of your house. That's not really necessary. Uh, you just want to build something like a budget home lab. You can use tools like VirtualBox, VMware, aspiring tech pros can experiment with something like Windows, Linux and just like networking and troubleshooting. OK, just simple and easy. So every win from creating a user to fixing a DNS issue. That's going to be content. All right. You want to make sure that you write it down. You want to post about it. You want to record it kind of like what I'm doing now. Uh, even a short screen recording, like here's how I fix, let's say, a DNS issue in Ubuntu. That's going to become like portfolio gold. All right. It shows employers that this person doesn't just really study, but they but they actually apply. You know what I mean? Uh, step three, you want to apply to these specific job titles that I'm about to list to you. Uh, searching for IT job can bring up listings, asking for like five years of experience, 12 certs, and just ridiculously the ability to reverse en engineer the matrix. Uh, so you want to skip all that noise, right? You, you got to do that. Uh, instead, you want to focus on job titles like maybe IT support technician, maybe help desk analyst, uh, maybe desktop support, technical support specialist. If someone has ever like helped a family member like reset a password, then they've already actually done part of those type of jobs. Right. On the resume, you just have to make sure that you frame that experience like installed or configured an operating system, uh, troubleshot network issues. Um, something like provided technical support remotely, even if it was like for your grandma, it trust me, it, it counts. All right. Mistake number two, thinking that you need to know everything like IT is a massive field. All right. Networking, cybersecurity, scripting, cloud, Linux. Uh, it just really never ends. But trying to master all of it before actually applying, it's like saying that you can't be a chef until you've cooked every dish in the world. Like it's that's ridiculous. It's not going to happen. So what you want to do is you just want to focus on learning just enough to land the entry level role. OK, uh, the rest, it'll come with it like experience um, on the job. Step number four. Uh, you want to stand out with confidence. So let's be honest, like a lot of entry level applicants, they have similar qualifications. Right. So what makes those people stand out is you have to or what makes you stand out is you have to start sharing what you've learned, like on LinkedIn. You maybe like want to record a quick intro video explaining like what you know what and why they want to work in IT, uh, reaching out to professionals in the field for guidance. That actually helps a lot, too. Uh, those small actions that can actually like build momentum and it, it'll help you gain like a lot of confidence and confidence. That's going to be 90 percent of the game saying I don't know everything, but I can figure it out is actually the mindset employers want to see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mistake number three. 
waiting for permission. I'll apply once I finish my cert or I'll share once I know more. No, 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 no. Nobody needs permission to chase what's already theirs. You know what I'm saying? So apply now. All right. And then just learn along the way. OK, so in conclusion, uh, breaking into IT, it doesn't require <laughs> genius level skills. All right. Uh, it just requires resourcefulness, uh, drive and action. So for anyone serious about really starting their tech journey, just stop waiting. Just do it. So you want to make sure you just study smart and just start practicing day by day daily. That's all you got to do. Um, apply to jobs, even if it feels too early. And if you want to break into IT even faster, uh, check out Course Careers. It's an affordable, beginner friendly training program that teaches you real IT skills and connects you to uh, entry level job opportunities. Uh, I actually took course careers. I think it's great. And um, you can start here and get 50 percent off or excuse me, you can get $50 off automatically. And there's uh, no experience and no degree required. Just check my link in the description. And if this video helped, uh, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech tips and just drop a comment with where you're starting from. Uh, I'll definitely respond to as many comments as possible. And just remember, like, keep God first, guys, and everything will be good. So see you in IT.